In this presentation, we will take a look at government financial reporting requirements. We're going to start off with the minimum requirements, general purpose external government financial reporting requirements. They include management discussion and analysis. This is actually going to be part of the required supplemental information. This is going to be a key component for the governmental type of organizations because it's designed to give a narrative format and easy to read type format of the basic financial statements and the current financial position and results of financial activities compared to the prior year. We then have the government wide financial statements and fund financial statements. We'll get more into the difference between the government wide financial statements and fund financial statements. But for now, note that the government wide financial statements are going to be focusing in on the entity as a whole. The government wide activities focusing in on more of an accrual type standard, one that we would be more used to. The fund financial statements are going to be breaking things down to relevant components, focusing more in on the flows of those relevant components using then a modified accrual type basis oftentimes for the fund financial statements then we have the notes to the financial statements and we have the required supplemental information the key component of the required supplemental information being the management's discussion and analysis Focusing in on the financial statements, we have the two formats. We have the government-wide financial statements and the fund financial statements. The government-wide financial statements give an overview of a government's net position and changes in net position. This can be compared more closely with for-profit types of organizations when we're considering, in essence, the balance sheet and the income statement. We're thinking, in essence, of the net position balance sheet type activity and the changes in net position income statement how did we do performance type of activity over the entire organization which is typically what, what we would think of in terms of financial statements for a for-profit type of organization therefore although the terminology will change the government-wide financial statements will more closely relate to what we would consider for a for-profit type of organization one of the terms that will change and we'll see more of these as we go is the net position you can consider basically the balance sheet or the accounting equation assets minus liabilities equals equity typically well here we could say well what the net position is we could think of that as the equity type section net assets net position assets minus liabilities the fund financial statements give more detailed financial information about the government when we compare this to a for-profit type of organization note that the government-wide type statements is what we typically consider because as external users we want to know the organization as a whole to know whether or not we want to do business typically with the organization. That's what we want to see in the financial statements. The fund financial statements are going to give us more transparency about the operations, what's actually going on more detail. We're going to pick out the key components and give more detail about those components. And therefore, the fund financial statements often focus on the short term activity, often use modified type accrual methods so that we can see the detail in a more transparent way within the fund accounting. Government-wide financial statements help assess operational accountability, whether government has used its assets efficiently and effectively to meet objectives, focus on the flow of economic resources, and therefore use the typical or standard accrual method that we would expect from financial accounting. Fund financial statements are a separate set of accounts set up to keep track of resources that have been segregated for a specific purpose. We'll talk more about how to do that, how that process works, how we separate this information out in future presentations. But just note that when we think about a fund, we typically think about a specific purpose that has been set up and a specific set of books that are being applied to it. And therefore, we can consider the fund as, in essence, a separate type of entity, a separate type of entity that is going to be assigned its own set of accounts and therefore have a general ledger. And therefore, we should theoretically be able to make financial statements from that information and you such as a balance sheet type statement a net position type statement and an income statement type statement or a performance type of statement fund financial statements help with fiscal accountability whether the government raised and spent financial resources in accordance with constraints of budget legal and regulations focus on short-term flow of current financial resources this is going to be a key component when we think of the fund accounting we're typically thinking about short-term flows so this leads us to the use of a modified accrual method rather than a standard type of accrual method so that we'll have slightly different accounting for the funds as a result in part of this focus 
prepared in conformity with GASB GASB standards. Governmental Accounting Standards Board. Now we're going to talk about a comprehensive annual financial report. This is going to be over and above the minimum requirements that we have talked about thus far. Generally not required to prepare the comprehensive annual financial report, the CAFR, but most governments do do so. The CAFRs are prepared in conformity with GASB standards. The comprehensive annual financial report typically includes an introductory section, financial section, a statistical section, a title page, a letter of transmittal, and other section. The financial section of the report includes the auditor's report, the management's discussion and analysis, often termed MD&A, basic financial statements and related notes, required supplementary information, the required supplementary information other than the MD&A, the management's discussion and analysis, and other supplementary information. Comprehensive annual financial report statistical section typically includes tables and charts showing demographic data, economic data, uh, financial trends, and operating information.